Okay, hello and welcome back here to MLG TV. My name is Risk. Alongside me is Metas, and we're here for the Public Leader.se versus Natsis Vincira game. Last game of tonight and last game of the season here in the Sevo MLG Pro League Season 7. Public Leader, of course, fighting to not get relegated. Navi, on the other hand, fighting to get that fourth place um, here in the EU division of this league. And right now we see a pistol round coming in already now. Downy. With the first frag, second frag from him, and pistols are coming out huge for the Swedes here. Having such a good round in this pistol. Sees this gonna get one, but surely he's not gonna win this one. And that's gonna be the pistol going to public lear. And well, I was I was about to say stuff like, yeah, Navi's gonna be the big favorite. They're gonna get start on the T side, but yeah, that's gonna be their map to us. So they're probably gonna do well. And then public lear just come in, takes a pistol round. And um, yeah, this is a team that they played a draw against NIP, the one two this year against gamers too, but those are their two only really good results here uh, in in this season of Sivo. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd love to be uh, on the server with you discussing <laughs> things, but I'm trying to get on the server. It's not letting me connect. Yeah, game burn. Okay. So take it away, dude. I'll hopefully be there yeah. very soon. I'll I'll try to to do the play by play here. No worries. Um, right now we do have, of course, the pistol, full pistol buy up for Navi. And um, two deagles actually in, in the hands of Guardian and Edward. Edward also with the Molotov. Kind of curious of what he's going to do with the Oh, huge shot onto Aush. And um, that nade is also going to do some damage, but are they going to allow Navi to get onto this bomb site? MP7 doing its damage as well. Max 7 in the hands of Awi. Not quite sure how to pronounce that, but I'm going to go with Awi. That sounds good. As uh, Lincoln. Getting some chat done, as this is of course one of those rounds where the CTs believe that they have an easy time, but with Seast coming in from behind, they're not going to have an easy time. And he's just flanking them all right. Three kills from him before going down, but still it's a 2v2, so this is doable. Make that a 1v2. Guardian with the Deagle, not going to shut it down. So it's going to be the 3k from Downey, and 2 to zero for Public Laird at SE. And uh, yeah, Navi, of course, losing that one. Gonna eco this one in order to buy in the next round. So it's gonna be 3 to 0 as well, I think. So, despite you not being in the server, mate, um, <laughs> can, can you, what, what kind of idea do you have about this this Swedish public uh, team? Have you seen any, any of their games so far? I have actually casted quite a few of their games. I casted when they drew against Nip, I believe. Um, yeah. they're, they're a solid team. They've got a lot of promise, but I think the problem they, they find also cut me off, by the way, if it's play by play. Yeah, no problem. It's um, an eco round, so yeah. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. So they're, they're very strong individually, but as I said before, I think when it comes down to teamwork, they're not very good. And this comes down to maybe a lack of experience together. It maybe comes down to a lack of like big tournaments and playing the top teams. But you can see they're growing. They're getting better for sure. I just don't think that they'll compete against Narvi. I mean, that's that's my honest two cents. Yeah. And as you said that, the round, of course, ends. Public Leader getting that round 3-0 to zero now, but this is where it gets hard for them. Navi having the full buy, 5 AKs coming in, and we see that Public Leader respecting this, upgrading all the way. Uh, Aush staying on the FMS since he can't really afford Actually, I think Downey could maybe have dropped Fawn for him, but we're going to let that slide. Lincoln with the AWP. Guardian going for the aggressive, aggressive smoking here. As they enter this B bomb side, the terrorists are actually getting really far ahead. It's going to be Edward with the aggressive position. He's not going to be able to shut down Lincoln, who hits him down to 7 HP, 17 HP, excuse me. And now Zeus here has to wait for the smoke to dissipate so he can hit this drop zone with his team. This is always tricky. Good pop flash. And they get the frag onto Awi. Now going to try and come in here with another set of flashbangs, the terrorists. Gonna try to come in towards the B bomb side. Edward getting one, Flamey getting one as well. And now it's a 4v2 situation, but low HP on the terrorist side. Another frag from Edward. Good stuff from him this round. Now it's all on Downey. And this is this is where we see the real Navi come into play. The first buy round, get the bomb down. 4v1. Only gonna lose one player here, I think. And public there. Well, they've had, they, they've got three rounds though. But three rounds is not gonna be enough. Actually, Ceased goes down there, so that was not really planned. Gonna save the rest of these weapons. Downey is surely not gonna get this defuse. So the Swedes will take a, a loss here in this round. Navi picking up the first one. And uh, and yeah, what what we've been talking about earlier is that uh, there've been some rumors. Uh, we're not quite sure because nothing has been confirmed yet. 
But uh, there's been some rumors that Fnatic might be not attending due to all these events going on at the moment uh, to the CVLN finals, which if they do so, if these rumors are confirmed, um, will free up a spot in the EU division. So that's why this is really important for Na'Vi, because if that happens, then if they win this game today, they'll be the one in fourth place in EU, and therefore they'll be the, the team that, that the CVL guys probably go for as their pick uh, to replace Fnatic. So that's actually why, why we're so hyped for this game, um, to see if Na'Vi can complete what on the other side have been a not a very good season for them so far. Three losses, three ties, and only four wins so far in this uh, in this season for them, so not a good season for Navi, but they can still manage to to heal that season up again by winning here today. They already won one best of two. Now second one coming in, Flamey with a good aggressive position. This is of course only against pistols. So not too much of a challenge. Using that long range and taking this round without any difficulties. So, about to become 3-2, to two. and uh, hopefully Lord Gaben will sort out my co-caster <laughs> at some point, allow him to join the server, which is the problem we're having right now. This is why you're only hearing my voice, and not the deadly duo that you've just been um, custom to for the entirety of this evening. So... Byron for both teams. Two ops, Downey and Guardian. Both with one. So, no frags exchanged just yet. Guardian is getting aggressive with his AWP. Let's see here if we can get something down. This is the sixth round, so. They have the opportunity of tying it up, 3-3. Three to three. Oh, good entry from Lincoln, or a good hold from Lincoln. But Edward spins back around with a quick double of his own. Could go for a triple, because as you can see there, Awi is dropping onto the back of the bomb site. He only has an M4, and no grenades, flashbangs, or nothing. But down, he's still here on the back of this B bomb site. Bomb is actually dropped right now, so Awi actually holding down a pretty good position. I actually thought Edward knew exactly where he was, but he must have thought Aoi rotated onto the, the back of this A-bomb site. So now it's all on, on seized in a 1v3. We'll be shut down. Good play from Public Seer or Public Clear.se here. Coming out with another win, of course, on the CT side here. And most teams actually prefer the T side here on the e cobblestone. So interesting that uh, the Swedes are getting this many rounds. But then again, they tied an IP. They beat gamers too. Navi, on the other hand, struggled a bit this season. So, yeah, this is entirely doable. Now, another funny fact is that this is a team from Sweden filled with players that most of you guys in the chat probably will not be familiar with. Maybe you're familiar with Downey, but the rest of the other lineup, not as famous. And they're doing fine. They're doing well against a top tier team like Navi, and that's just an example and a testament to how the Swedish scene and the young part of the Swedish scene just steps up hugely. There's so many good players, despite them having NIP having Fnatic, two of the best teams in the world. And then they also have the 137 Elite team with Devilwalk and Snyder. That's three top teams. And this is a, a possible a possible fourth one as well here. Public Seer, Public Glare coming out here this round very, very well. Not losing a single member so far against this full buy-up from, from Na'Vi. Seized last man standing and wow, the Swedes are looking so good right now. She's trying to clutch this one. One thing to note, actually, um, it seems like whenever Navi play against a team that are better than them aim-wise, they have a problem here in Cobblestone. They had the same thing against Virtus Pro, where they got kind of surprised of how well Virtus Pro were actually aiming and playing in general, that you just went on tilt mode and just lost the map completely. This could be the same thing that's happening right now, because they're not expecting Public Lear to play this well. They're just, they're just going to lose a big amount of rounds and then just go in tilt mode completely, which could not be good for them. I'm, I'm not sure how it is uh, in math by the statistics, uh, if they need a win or if they can actually go with just one map in this best of two. But of course, there are two maps here. This is the first one. We have a second one coming up afterwards. But that map is the choice of public clear that I see. But we'll gain another round here. So it's going to be five to two and um, either a force or an... Round with an op 
and a bunch of the Glocks here coming out. Oh, it's going to be the force round here. Flamey going to buy the AK. The rest of the team going to probably go with Tech Nines. As we see Navi not looking too hot money wise. So, of course, the force here coming out of Navi has not really shown us anything. Lincoln in a great position, and he's going to be banged through the smoke. Sees shuts him down. That second smoke he popped. That's gonna be the tell that the sweeps needed in order to bring down the frag. Double frag coming in from Navi here. 5 to 2 is the score. Four players still alive for Navi in a 4 to 2 situation. So this could be where they start to actually rack up some rounds on the T side, Navi. Let's see down here with the AWP. Probably gonna go for the save here. Dominate and maybe looking to shut down some weapons. But unless he gets two or three frags, then Downey's not gonna rotate. No, he's gonna be saving that one. And a more interesting question is, uh, my co-caster, is he still here? <laughs> I, I'm here, but I can't get on the server. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, still. <laughs> yeah, so I've tried restarting my PC, tried logging Smurfs, nothing's working. The only other thing I can think of is doing analysis and watching the stream, but I've been told it's like the stream's 40 seconds behind, so yeah. I'll do my best, dude, but I think you're going to have to take the play-by-play -play <laughs> no for this worries. map. No worries. It's actually quite interesting so far because public clear have been doing way better than I predicted, already getting five rounds, and if I'm not mistaken, then most of the teams prefer this this terrorist side here of the cobblestone, so yeah, the Guardian and the, the guys locking down third round, but still two round lead for the Swedes here, of course the big, big underdogs, I think they had around uh, like odds five or something insane on, on all the on the different betting sites and stuff, so no one really believing in, in the Swedes here, but they're having the lead so far. Yeah, it is on the CT side of Cobblestone, though, and I, I wonder if that's going to be playing into their strengths, because the issue that Public Law have is that they're... Typically, their defense side is pretty strong, but their T side's a bit lackluster. Oh, so okay. I'm, I'm quite curious to see how they're going to... Of course, Cobblestone may very well be different. I haven't seen these guys on Cobblestone before, but when you think of Na'Vi CT side, I'm thinking it's probably going to be quite solid. So... Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can read into this. Public Clear, though, this is a good start. This is what they needed, right? They were way behind yeah. in terms of popularity and who people thought were going to win this game. So the fact they've started fairly decently, that's the first tick off the box. That's the first hurdle they've leapt over. Yeah, so here we go. There's going to be a B push coming out from Na'Vi. Lincoln will have to rotate. Well, it is a good position from the CTs. They have two more guys in this bomb side, but the bomb's going to go down and cease through the smoke, and it's hard to do anything against that. So this is going to be a Na'Vi round. Lincoln might as well just save his M4, but he's not. And he's going to be seized picking up the two kill. Edward with two kills as well. So now it's five to four. And uh, Na'Vi looking a bit like their old selves again. With a good economy. Flamey actually going for the MAC-10. But that is, of course, because the CTs will not have enough money to buy up here. So good choice from Flamey going for the MAC-10. Yeah, I've noticed so far that a lot of... From what I've seen, the rounds that I've been able to watch, that Na'Vi are very much happier to attack that B site. That's fairly standard for T side. The thing is, though, the public are going to have to maintain this drop zone control. Because if you lose drop zone control of CTs, you're basically going to lose the round. That is a key area of the map. So public yeah. they, they have to keep going back to that. Otherwise, things are going to get pretty bad for them quickly. Yeah, right now, we just have pretty much a mow down as all the players in public there will be shut down. Dominic tried to go for the cheeky kill on the bomb planter, but yeah, he's, he's not going to be able to get that kill. He takes Zeus down pretty low to 21, but doesn't really matter. 5-5 five to five is going to be the score after 10 rounds in this game, all tied up. And this is uh, a buy coming out of public clear, so what can they do here? They had a decent start with 5 rounds, but when Na'Vi started to, to build that pressure, yeah, they lost 3 rounds in a row. So, yeah. Tough that's scenario. The issue. That's that's one of the things I'm talking about when public lack the experience that Navi do. So when they start to lose rounds, it could impact them a lot more. Navi typically keep a very cool head. You don't often see Navi get steamrolled out of the game. They're always there till a bit of end. Public Club, on the other hand, they have a tendency to let games slip. So it's a good start, but you have to finish as strong. Like it's not necessarily how you start that matters, it's how you finish that counts. Yeah, that's true. Right now, the terrorists are setting up for a, a split push onto the A bomb site. They have one player making a lot of noise on B, but the rest sitting up 
uh, to hit that A. And actually, there's only one player so far on that A side, and that's Downey. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the former Western Wolves and Lemon Dogs player uh, way back. And he is the one holding down. Now he has to rotate from Arush coming in. So there are two CT players on that A bomb side now. Flamey. Down in middle. Together with his friends. Looking to start something, but they're actually not going in. They're just waiting outside, and the bomb is now rotating onto B. Which probably might be the right call, because now a lot of, of the CT players have rotated close to the A bomb side. So they might be able, with an entry here from Zeus, to get that B bomb side. They get the entry, and now Dominate's going to hold this window. He's going to hold it well, getting the frag in. But still, 4v4, Guardian locking down drop zone. Good frag onto Dominate. And the bomb's surely going to go down here for the terrorist. T CT's trying to rotate in, but if you see Guardian's position, he's going to, yeah, guard the drop zone. And the CT's already running away, saving their money, saving their weapons. So it's going to be a 6-5 to five lead. And that is actually four rounds in a row now for Navi on the T side. This is the only downside about trying to analyze this game is I'm still in the part before the action kicks off. So I'm trying to analyze. <laughs> Basically what happens there from what I can see is like the CTs over rotate. They rotated four players to A, left one on B, and then Navi with the last 20 seconds started to rotate. So it's like a really smart play and they caught the CTs in transition. So again, public law, this is where experience comes down. It's like that split second call that pretty much lost them the round. Very unfortunate. So here we go, round win for Navi, 6-5, to five. and Lincoln going for the Deagle, same old Dominate, and if there's something we like to see, it's it's those Swedish Deagle shots coming into play, we know Freiburg is good for a couple of good Deagle shots, but how will Lincoln and Dominate come up here against Navi? The rest of the team are on weapons, so um, I would expect something here. How are they going to go aggressive though with these Deagles? That's a, that's a real question. Because that's where they could rag in some important kills. Edward going in here with the smoke on long. Get that long control down. And once again, the CT's going for the boost. But Edward knows what's up. And he just picks it off. CT just goes into drop zone. He can just backstab right now. Getting one flag down. Edward with another one. Sue's holding drop zone now. And surely to take out the enemies. So that is seven to five. And five rounds in a row for Navi on the CT on the T side. And this is where they start to get really dangerous. This is where they start to snowball. Could easily take another three rounds, and if they grab the pistol as well, yeah, this is not looking good for public player. Also, 16k on Zeus, 14k on Guardian, 15,700 on Edward. So the money is looking so good for Navi. And I think they've found out what the main weakness of public player are, is as well. It's it's these preemptive rotates and just getting caught in transition and going for peaks. You can see again. Like in that previous round, Seas just drops into drop zone. No CTs even close to stop. Yeah. And drop zone is so, so important. I can't stress enough how huge drop zone is as an area in this map. So publicly, they're, they're kind of missing out on the opportunities that I mentioned when I you know, first rejoined you here. So Downey trying to hold the back of this B bomb side. Same position as Guardian usually holds. And talking about Guardian, he gets Lincoln down here. In another buy round, and that's a double kill from Guardian onto Auge as well. This is another buy round from the CTs, and they cannot afford to keep losing those, these. Guardian picks up a double frag, and the bomb's going to go down here. 5v3 retake situation, or 3v5 retake situation for the CTs. And they might be forced into another save here. There's just no way of them going in. C still coming in from drop zone, trying to get some closing frags. But yeah, they're just caught on the wrong bomb side here. The CTs, Downey locks down Zeus, but the round is already lost. The question is, how are they going to keep be able to keep their weapons here, the CTs? Downey doing a good work. Taking down two frags, but Guardian coming in here from behind with the AWP. Trying to scout for enemies. Does not see anyone. I think he just saw Downey there, and Guardian takes him out. Goes in and oh, drops eventually, but they get all the weapons eliminated, and that really what matters because Navi have enough money to rebuy so that they don't really care about their own weapons but if they can take weapons away from public clear who are desperately needing that money and those weapons and that's awesome for them round will be eight to four or eight to five excuse me in favor of Navi as we head into round number 14 of this map an issue as well from from like watching you know from a purely backseat position here is that Public La, they don't know which site to defend necessarily because Na'Vi, from what I've seen, the last four rounds they've gone A then B then A then B again. 
They're not yeah. just running at the same site over and over again. They're really keeping public on their tiptoes. And that's where those mistakes really show more as well. Because if you're caught when a team has completely baited you on a site, it's that much more effective. Navi are pulling off a fantastic T side here. Well, Dominate finally will get a kill onto Seized. So that's 4v4 scenario, but Downey on that max 7, so he's going to have a hard time doing anything. Are we trying to hold it down? But he's trying to hold down two positions at once on this A bomb side. And that's not easy. Bomb is down though, and he gets a double frag onto Guardian as well. Flamey trying to lock one down. That's Aush going. And Edward getting the bomb. But good frag from Edward. Now 2v2 Downey with the max 7. So they're going to wait to get one more frag, and then they're going to get this bomb down, I think. Maybe trying to make public or think a little bit about it. Smoke pops out and Dominate sees one on the bomb side, so they know it's an A push now. And good frag from Dominate takes a reply. Edward now in a 1v1 against Downey with the max 7. Oh, pops up and get a beautiful headshot. That was sick from Downey. He's gonna get the defuse, so it's gonna be 8 to 6 as we head into the last round of the first half between these two teams. Downey's gonna be able to pick up an M4 as well, or even an AK if he wants to. But yeah, good stuff from the CTs this round, but. Still, six rounds is, is not enough. It's not enough. Olway deserves a, definitely a special mention there on Long of A. Pulled off two sick frags and gave the rest of the CTs a chance to rotate onto A and give them that round. So Olway, take a bow. That was awesome play. But yeah, publicly six rounds isn't enough. So, publicly are, of course, fighting for survival here. Probably going to play some relegation matches at the end of the season. Um, so let's see here if they can avoid this, if they can do something here against Na'Vi, Downey once again with the Max 7 actually switching off, pulling the uh, saved M4 over to one of his teammates and staying on that Max 7. Heroic choice from him, Aush and Downey holding down drop zone as Meta said earlier, they have to hold down that area and just as one of the CTs flips away, the terrorist comes in that sees picking up the double frag and Oh, shut down Dominant as well, it's a triple frag from him. And he's just holding this drop very meticulously, getting another one. This could actually be the ace for a seized. Last player remaining is Awi, and he's just close to the position. Oh, he will get seized, so no ace for him. But surely he's not going to clutch this one. Edward just edging him out. And that's going to be 9-6 to six for Na'Vi against Public Essie in the first half of this first map in this best of two. Yeah, so just to go back onto the standings at this point, Public Glare are 10th, uh, sorry, 11th out of 12 places. Existence is the only team below them. Uh, currently zero wins and three points. So it's been a bit of a, a sad time for Existence. But Public Glare, if they were to win this, they could potentially leapfrog over Leaked and it could give them some, some you know, cause for, for praise. And I'd be feeling pretty good about that as well. Coming 10th when you've got some of these teams is not a bad result at all. But still, <laughs> they've got to beat Na'Vi. That's easier said than done. <laughs> That's true. So let's wait here for the players to ready up. Go into that second half. Um, yeah, these two teams here, of course, big favorites, Na'Vi. Public there in that second to last position in the standings. So it's, uh, it's of course, a tough tough call for the Swedes here. But we are ready to go now with the pistol in the second half. What are Public are going to do? Because they desperately need this pistol. They won the first one. If they can get two pistols, then that's... Good for them, so let's see what they want to bring out. It's actually going to be five armor, so no flashes, no smokes, no nothing. This could be a full-on rush towards some of the bomb sides. Either on uh, Navi on this other side running a C set on Zeus. Flamey with a full nade setup and armors on everyone else. It looks like this is the Glock train for that B bomb side. Going to go for the drop zone early on. and Well, Navi's going to hear this good grenade, but Zeus... Can he hold this window? No, we can't. Public Mirror being very good at holding these pistol rounds, I have to say. Um, now it's only Edward in this 1v4. And he's going to have a tough time re-clutching this. Dominate, good position. But yeah, as I said earlier, the Swedes have been good at on these pistol rounds as Edward does a... Well, heroic try, but they won the first pistol round, looked quite solid. Winning the second one as well with two players surviving, so... The Swedes having 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 good pistol rounds, but they just lack um, confidence and skill in those fire rounds here against Navi, where Navi almost usually wins out. 
Yeah, and I think that's also quite indicative of their strengths as opposed to their weaknesses. Public yeah. strengths are aim. It's it's like that raw aim duel potential where pistols typically come out supreme. When it comes to teamwork, not so much. And that's normally where you see buy rounds with smokes, with grenades, that kind of stuff, pushing onto sites together. So it doesn't surprise me that their pistol rounds are a lot stronger than their buy-up rounds. So here you go. Guardian with the Deagle, Flamey with the Scout. As the terrorist team about to hit that B bomb site, Flamey Scout might come um, into play here and might pay for itself as well. Edward taking a big amount of damage from those grenades. And he has not been spotted yet. Flash goes over. That's a good pop flash, but he will not find any kills. And Guardian's going to be rotating around with that Deagle. As uh, he's the final that bomb site. Public are trying to come in here. They know the position of Edward. And he finally goes down. Flamey with one scout headshot, though. Great scout headshot from him. He's still alive on the back of this, but Dominic will take him out. Now it's all on Zeus and Guardian. Guardian misses the shot, and surely Zeus will fall down as well. But still, three frags. But the question is, is it enough to justify the buy of a bunch of pistols and a scout as well? Mm, it's, it's a tough one to answer, really. Um, because Public Law, I mean... Obviously, every single round from here on out is absolutely crucial to their potential success or therefore downfall. And I feel like when it comes down to the nitty-gritty stages of this game, Na'Vi is always going to win. So these are the important rounds. They need to be picking off off the start, building themselves a foundation. They're already behind rounds anyway. So they've got to start picking up these rounds. So, Na'Vi here on the CT side receiving a bunch of damage. Actually going to die off straight in this round. Not really much to say. Actually, Flamey will get one frag, and oh, look at that. Downey taking down his teammates, so that's not going to be good for the economy. But the game is tied 9-9 nine to nine here as we go into round number 19 in his first map in his best of two. I'm still desperately reconnecting, like, every second, hoping it'll finally let me in. It's like the definition of insanity, trying the same thing over and over again, <laughs> expecting a different result. But, nope, I'm stuck on the 40-second delay. I'll help you as much as I can, dude, but this is so yeah, difficult. no worries. No worries. Um, yeah, 9 to 9 is the scoreline, and we have the full buyout for Na'Vi. Uh, should be taking this one if, if the statistics are true. Down, he's just trying his luck through the walls there. Lane can do the same thing through the smokes, and luckily they're on those T weapons, so they have plenty of bullets, but if they're on that CT gun, they would not be spamming as much. And we can see that Guardian just staying here on that M4, staying defensively, holding the angle, not wasting any bullets. So, Edward here on the back of it. Will not see anything, but Zeus will. He sees Aush, but it will be the Swede coming out with a frag. Against the Ukrainian here, and good position here. He has that drop zone covered. Flamey knows he's in there, so he's he's guarding it from the side angle. But the remaining part of the terrorist team, they are rotating onto A, which is uh, well, it's pretty much only is it Edward holding it? No, it's Guardian holding it. He's all alone here, and he's hearing he's hearing them now. So he's calling it to his teammate. One of them rotates. Guardian still here in middle with his M4. Are they going to be able to lock him down? Gets the first one. And yeah, not the second one. That's going to be dominated. Locking him down. Now it's all on Edward and Seized to hold this one on the back of the bomb side. That is Seized. But oh, Lincoln coming out from behind. But he will get fragged. It's going to be Seized and time is running out now. Seized is holding this. He's holding it perfectly. And oh, we'll get shut down. Bomb. Not going to get planted. Navi win the round with only Edward surviving in a 1v2. So incredibly close round. And publicly are actually running out of time there. So the round will go to Navi. So almost taking a leaf out of the like Navi textbook there of how to play T side, but just not being aggressive enough, just letting it go too late. I was about to say... There's some very interesting differences between how Na'Vi was setting up their T side and how Public Lore are. Public Lore are very, very deep and defensive. Like, they're waiting for Na'Vi to push. And we already discussed this before. Na'Vi are not the kind of CT side that are going to rush you. They're happy no. to play slow. They're happy to let the Ts do the work. So, Public Lore need to learn from that mistake. Because that, that was a round they desperately shouldn't have lost. So, we go three Hamasis on Na'Vi. Four AKs on, on Public Lore. As we go into this one, round number 20, Flamey picking up the first one, and Awi answering straight back, grabs that AK in exchange for his Galil. 
So where do they want to go now? Aoi might get some entries and make some noise here at B, but I think it's going to be in the A push. Guardian guarding these positions sees no one at his current position, so he knows if they're going to go A, they're going to be down in mid. Downy making some noise here while two remaining players on the terrace side are rotating onto B. But then again, Navi have not spotted anything other than one guy here, so they have to know it's a fake. They're gonna drop down in drop zone, and now Flamey has to catch this frag. He does. Awi oh, goes down. Four against two here. Second one comes in from Flamey. He's looking fine, actually. Not second one. It's the fourth frag of the round, and he's gonna secure the ace. Second one in a couple of seconds, and Flamey just totally dominates them with his FAMAS. Great play from him. And that's gonna be 11 to 9 for Navi. You can see the changeup uh, instantly trying to to react in a positive way. They played very aggressive through mid that time, public club, but then they just kind of walked into the the trap that is Navi. So maybe a bit of lack of experience coming back to haunt the Swedes. That's the issue that they're going to run into. That Flamey's positioning there was absolutely on point, and they found out the hard way why Navi are revered as such a strong CD side. Yeah. So now the terrorist. From Pokemon are gonna try something else down here with the glass cannon. The rest of the team only with a pistol. Aush gonna get one onto Zeus. And Flamey gonna rotate back into drop zone as the terrorist player drops in. Takes him out. And looks like this is gonna be the 12th round for Navi, but Downey's still alive. They have spotted Edward and he's gonna grab a double for himself at triple. And surely gonna pick up the AK or the AWP here. That's Flamey taking it. Gonna drop it for Guardian, and that's gonna be 12 to 9. Going to be the buy up once again. So that was actually a nifty little thing coming out from public there. Going for that AWP to even out the money. And um, yeah, Navi on 12 to 9. Full setup from them, full setup from public there as well. But if Navi gets this one, then they're going to be on 13 to 9 on the stronger side with the stronger economy. So if public there wants anything out of this map, they have to do it now. Yeah, this is one of those fulcrum points of, you know, the, the seesaw, if you will, of CS. These, these are the rounds that really count. You see. Who the big boys are, and uh, public will desperately need this. If they lose this, as you say, I mean, Navi have all of the advantages going forward. So how are public going to aggress in this round? Let's find out. So, a ridiculous play coming out of the Swedes as they get the two first frags. It's going to be Lincoln and Awi getting those. Edward Flaming C is still alive for Navi, so looking good for the Swedes so far. Lincoln trying to hold. Down that A bomb set with his up. Downy smoking out CT, but good position from Ceased will get one, but not the second. Gets Downy down to 9 HP though. Ouch, with the frag as well. So now it's all on Edward, 1v4. And Edward probably thinking about saving here. Despite them having an okay economy, Seuss is on zero dollars. So he's gonna need that AK coming into the next round in order to have that full buy. So. It's going to be 10 to 12. So that hugely important round does go the way of the Swedes. It gives them another lifeline. Whether it's going to still be enough is yet to be seen. But that was a huge round for them. It's going to give them a lot of confidence as well here, Risk. So I feel like yeah. that was a, a big, you know, a big box ticked out. And they won it pretty convincingly as well in the end. It wasn't a close 1v1. It was a fairly comfortable victory in the end. Yeah, that's, that, that's definitely true. Um, good play coming out of the Swedes. Edward will save his rifle and his entire setup, so he's going to have enough money to drop here. So it's going to be a full full setup for Navi here, but Public Clear, as you said, gaining that confidence, gaining that momentum. This is uh, the round where they just broke a three-round streak from Navi, getting that bomb exploding as well. So some money left in the bank here, not completely buying up on Public Clear. And what are they going to do now? That's going to be the question. They have the opportunity of almost tying up the game. Navi, despite from Edward, all broke after the spy. So if they tie, if they get this 11 to 12, then they're gonna get 12 to 12 as well and tying up the game here in the first map, Cobblestone. And um, yeah, Navi, they need to get this round. Flamey in drop. He has the second player there as well, but he doesn't need him for the first one. Ouch! Gotta pick up two frags for his. Life. So it's a 3v3 scenario. Now, the CT players need to know exactly where they want to rotate to because there's some, some questions here in the Navi camp, like who's rotating where, as we just saw with Guardian. 
Lincoln almost got the, the shot off, but decided not to go for it because he didn't want to reveal his position. And that's why he wanted to lock down one player securely on that bomb sign. That was Guardian going down. He sees the second one as well in that spam spot, but we'll survive. Two to three. All right, now. Downy. Taken out, Edward. So now it's all on seized. 1v3, but he's on that bomb site. Trying to take the aim duel, but the Glock is, is the weapon that's the weapon of choice. But Downey seized. I am not sure how he did not lock down that frag. Downey on 27. So, yeah, not looking too good. And we're going to have a pause here. Dominate having some trouble with Steam. So you're not the only one, my friend, having trouble <laughs> with this server. I'm not sure if that makes me feel any better though. <laughs> I'm, I'm just sat here like feeling like I'm casting from the past. I'm I'm still watching of the round that you just casted there. It's so surreal, I can't even explain. The main <laughs> issue here for Navi though is that they're falling into the same traps that Public did against them, and that's over rotating. They're very, very quick to rotate, and I think Public have, have realized it. So they're they're trying to exploit that over rotation. And now Navi, from a position where I was thinking, look, they're gonna walk away with cobblestone. 11-12, anybody's yeah. game. Yes, Navi is still in a better position in the sense that they're CTs, but as you called, their economy's really bad, and Public Law are starting to get the ball rolling in their favor. Yeah, and this is not good for Navi because as we talked about earlier, they need every win they can get in order to have some kind of chance of getting that fourth position. I'm not quite sure in the math and, and how they're going to stack up, but uh, I, don't, I don't think a draw is even enough. I think they need the win in this one uh, in order to get that fourth place, so... Navi, it would be strange seeing them throw away a, a LAN attendance in a last game of the of the league against Public Lear. That I see, this is not no harsh words against Public Lear, but this this is a match that Navi should win. So um, yeah. So I'm checking the standings now. Cut me off if we jump into the next round. By the way, if Dominate um, has his steam sorted out, Navi are currently fifth with 11 points, joint with Titan. Gamers two are on 12 points. So if they draw this, they'll be even with Gamers 2. I don't know how that would be selected. I guess it would depend on the previous results between these two teams. But Na'Vi, if they draw, they go fourth, fifth. If they win, they go fourth outright. So this yeah. is a huge map. This is massive. If they win this, they're fourth, whatever happens. That's good. So here we go. Uh, actually, not here we go because the players are not ready. They have some team speak issues. Dominate says they have fixed his issue, so it's it's not too bad, but still need that team speak to be in order. Uh, just for those of you guys tuning in, of course, Edward on the top of that scoreboard together with Flamey, 21 to 11 and 21 to 15. And on the other side, it's Downey with 18 frags. Ouch, just following him with 15 to 16 and five assists as well. And uh, hello, if you're just tuning in here to MLG TV at Placebo. My name is Risk. Alongside me is the ghost caster of Metas, who's not on the server right now, <laughs> but he's watching the stream with a 40 second delay. Ghost <laughs> caster, I like it. I like yeah, it. that's a new thing, man. Um, of course, here for the Sevo Professional League Season 7, uh, powered by MLG as well. So interesting stuff. This is the last day uh, of the um, normal play. We, of course, still have the playoffs to come and the land finals and everything. But this is uh, the last day of the of the regular season, and mm -hmm. we're watching to see if Navi can qualify and get that fourth place, or not qualify, but get that fourth place that might get them to the LAN event, and that's really what we want to see here. This is the last best of two. Yeah, there's some rumors that Fnatic may be dropping out, which is why we're saying might, may not. We're not entirely sure. Nothing's been made official. But needless to say, Navi, even if they didn't end up qualifying, I'm not saying they will or not, but if they didn't end up qualifying, it would still be nice for them to come off on a win, right? They still want to win this yeah. game, of course. And Public are a team that I think you mentioned that on the likes of CSGO Lounge, they had below 10% chance, I think you said. Yeah. So a lot of people believe that Na'Vi are strong, strong favorites. I would agree with that. I would say coming into this, I thought it would be a comfortable 2-0, but fair play to Public Lure. They're taking Na'Vi right down to the finish line. Yeah, it's impressive play by by them. And I think this is a good showing from Public Lure in general. Um, not a team that a lot of people are familiar with, or maybe the team name, but not the players in it. So... A good showing for them against one of the better teams in Europe, definitely. So they can be happy so far. But when you're at 11 to 12, you have the momentum, you have the money, you want to get the win as well. Like a map off Navi. So they have, if they take this, then they take a map off Nip, a map off Navi, and a win against Gamers 2 in this tournament. So that, that's good for them. Yeah, that would be pretty massive for them. But 
we are still waiting, I assume, for the TS issues. Yep. See there on the screen as I'm watching the stream right now. It has been put up for you, so you can see where we currently reside. Na'Vi in fifth place, 11 points, as I mentioned before, just behind Gamers 2. If they draw this, they'll be even with Gamers 2. If they outright win, they will leapfrog Gamers 2 to take fourth place. Mouse Sports play previously today, beat Penta fairly convincingly in the end, 2-0. to zero. So they have secured their pot spot in the finals on the end of July, I believe. That's when the delayed dates pretty much land. Correct me if I'm wrong there, Risk, but I think it's the end of July. Yeah, yeah, about uh, a month. yeah, I'm not quite sure about the details either, but you might be right there. Um, it seems to have... Uh, well, then, first of all, we had the problem with Dominate, then they need to fix their TS, and then <laughs> Navi had some problems, <laughs> and now we're back with uh, the TS issue for Public Lear. So, a bit of a break here, and the question is, this break is probably going to play into Navi's favor, in my opinion. Um, Public Lear yeah. having the momentum having those two rounds in a row and now having the money as well. Now they have a little bit of a break here. Navi maybe have some time to think about, okay, what are we going to do in the next buy round so they can secure that 13th round? So, yeah, it's, it's going to be rough for the Swedes here. Yeah, Navi are a team that are known for call, calling a few tactical timeouts. I'm not saying that this one is because obviously there were inter internet issues or TS issues or what have you. But they, they are a team that's known to, to kind of just chill out for a little bit and think about things and talk it through. So I, I agree with you. I think this would definitely favor Na'Vi, especially on CT side. It allows them to try and figure out what's been going wrong, what's been sort of their um, falling down, which I would yeah. say is, is probably over rotations and it's it's peaking needlessly. I think that's what's caused them. Now, of course, on Cobblestone, you do need to peak to get information because it's a very big map and to rotate from one site to the other takes a long time. So information is key. But the way they've been peaking has just been at the complete wrong time. It's like walking out when there's 40 seconds to go through mid. That makes no sense. Yes, you may get information, but you're also going to get a bullet between the eyes. So yeah. is it worth? Probably not. So they need to really crack down on these. I've just been told what the, the land dates are. Uh, 24th to 26th. So it is pretty awesome. much exactly in a month. Okay, awesome. And here we go with the round that has now been resumed. Edward on that max 7. The terrorist team on a full buy. The rest of the CTs. Of course, in P250, and a single 5-7 from Flamey. Edward trying to do some damage here through the smoke, but only manages to get Downey down to 78, while he's going down to 56, so not a good trade for him. As we have the time ticking down, the terrorists are grouped up in that middle towards A. Guardian holding down uh, the short area, what we back in the day in source called Matrix, but I'm being told that that's not the name for it anymore. Cobblestone <laughs> is not one of my played maps, so... Sorry if, if, if I mispronounce some of the uh, the areas. I actually pretty much only know the Danish names of these, these sets right now. But you, as we do have Zeus coming in with one frag, dominate quickly with a revenge. He's all over this farm side, but the CTs are here as well. He sees Guardian and receives damage from everywhere pretty much. Dominate so far out in this farm side, but will not go down. He's going to get that bomb planted. And Guardian going to be the last man standing. Put it, put it up two huge frags and with the AK-47 as well. Now it's in a 1v1 and... Guardian not going to get it in the end. Downey, two frags in a row. But Guardian, three kills with the P250s against a fully bought up team. Yeah, so I'm still watching the action right now from Zeus just opening things up. But even if Guardian doesn't win that round, that's still a lot of economic damage. Yeah. From a position that Na'Vi shouldn't have been getting kills. So, yes, they lose the round, but, you know, they're kind of the moral morale victors, I guess you could say. They'll be feeling better as a result of that. Yeah. That, that's true. So now we have the full buy-up from the CTs. Navi having a lot of money in the C's, picking up the first one. And actually going for the damage on the second one as well, onto Dominate. But it's going to be an even trade. So one man advantage for the CTs and Flamey holding down drop zone. And he's pretty good at that. He also has Zeus as a backup. So the pop flash goes in, but it's not going to be very fruitful. Zeus with the double frag and now 4v2. and. The confidence is definitely rolling now for Navi in this round. They're surely going to take this one. They have one player all the way down in mid, which is where the two terrorists are going to hit, actually, when they decide to go for it. And that's Guardian here spamming through, taking Lincoln down. And he's actually going for the P2000 play. Lincoln with the op with one HP. He just needs to blow a tiny bit of air towards him, Guardian, and then he'll be able to, to get the frag. Goes for the spray through the door, but Lincoln is still alive here. Seized rotating from the other way. That's going to be the frag. So 13 to 12 in favor of Navi here, saving three weapons. Yeah, and from what I could see there, Public Law went 
pretty ham on their economy. They really yeah. dug deep into their pockets to get the AWP and the AKs. The main problem there for me is that they push through mid, no flashes, no smokes, and they walk right into, I think it was seized uh, with his M4, and he just locked it down. That's the issue. Public click on. It, what, they didn't have fantastic spawns for it either. Like, they were average spawns. They're rushing in like they just got the best spawn possible. And Caesar's like, cool, thanks. I'll just take the free kills. And Na'Vi yeah. prosper off that round. So publicly need to learn from these mistakes because they're costing big now. And we're getting down to that business end that we were talking about before. Yeah, right now it's a, an eco corner on publicly, so we don't really expect them to win this. But Lincoln picking up the first frag onto Seuss. And if they could get something out of the Seeker round, that would of course be huge for them. A win would be insane, but still a couple of kills is, is good enough for public during this round where they have only invested in a couple of pistols, so not too much money thrown into this one. Edward just standing on, at the long range here and just picking people off, so it's not re even a worry for him. Lincoln trying to flank all the way around. Might be able to catch Guardian if Guardian keeps peeking down mid. Guardian sees him and takes him out. So Awi and Dominate, the two players remaining, gonna go for the B push, gonna go for the Skyfall or the drop zone. It's gonna be Seas picking him down up, and that's gonna be 14 to 12 in favor of Na'Vi. I expected though from that round, considering it was Ecos against the likes of Europe and uh, M4s as well, but still, Public Lure holding on, they're trying to, to poke and probe, and I like the fact that they did go for an aggressive round that time. Onto Na'Vi, it just didn't pay off. But it's keeping Na'Vi on the back foot, even on the eco rounds. If you're showing aggression, it makes them think twice before maybe taking it for granted that they can just sit in position and wait all day. So here we go, force up from publicly. They want to play for the win and not for the overtime on this one. So they're buying all they can. Three AKs and two Galils, but good opening kill from Awe taking out Edward. And now Ceased is also having to rotate as they have Three, almost four players on this B bomb side where the terrorists are headed. Guardian kind of going to come into drop zone with his AWP and just checking it. There's no one in drop zone, so now they know pretty much where all the terrorists are. Good grenade, huge amount of damage, and wow, just clearing it up with grenades. One player remaining, dominate, and he will be taken out together with Awe. Guardian with a double kill. I'm just watching how this round unfolds. This is a pretty interesting setup from Public where they just stack long. Yeah, walk into the crosshairs, but they still get the entry frag. So that was maybe a mistake on Edward's part. He went peeking at the wrong time and get got pretty much got picked off for free. Yeah, luckily for Navi, their nades was on point and the rotations was on point as well. So they managed to win that round. So the scoreline round now reads 15 to 12, and Public Bear on a force buy. Guardian spots one down in middle. Bomb is still way back in that T middle. So haven't really made any moves just yet, but. Aggressive play coming out from a CT player. That's going to be Edward, and he's about to catch a few frags. Here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. And that surely is going to be this map as Edward takes that double. Two players remaining. That's going to be Downey and Dominate, but they're in tough positions. Dominate kind of coming here with Beagle. Tries his best. Get one headshot. Gets one headshot, actually, and Downey here with the Tech 9. Does some damage as well, but. They're gonna get kills here, but the kills don't really matter because this is the last round of this game, probably. So they need to, to win this round to stay alive. Doesn't really matter if they get four kills if they lose the round because then the game is just lost or the map is just lost. So they know their positions now, Ganavi. The two remaining terrorists. Oh, Guardian hears that bomb drop. And well, they're holding it down. This is insane. This is a 2v2 now. And if Guardian goes down in this corner, it will be a 1v2, but the time is running out 20 seconds. Zeus has to hold them away from this bomb site. Are they actually going to get this round? Oh, so close. Zeus has to rotate in right now to get this frag. They can't get that bomb down. If it's a 1v2, after the bomb is planted, there we go. Zeus picking it up. Three rounds to go. Bomb is planted, but dominate on 31 HP. Oh, Sue sees his head, goes to the spray, dominates still here, keeping the dream alive for the Swedes. And he runs out of bullets, but still alive here with a deagle, though. Oh, wow. That is a beautiful deagle headshot. Four kills from Dominate. Super, super sick round from them. And 15 to 13, the hope was still alive for Public Lair. I'm watching that round, and I'm just shaking my head the whole time, because I know what's coming up from what you casted. <laughs> Na'Vi threw that round so hard. Like, okay, yeah. 
Public, they did a great job to clutch, and I'm not knocking Dominate's performance. I'm sure it was beautiful, but they rotated two people around the back and did not respect Public Lat at all and just gave away three or four free kills. That was unbelievable from Na'Vi, and they've been shaky. They probably will end up winning this map, I'm assuming, but this has not been a great performance from them by any stretch of the imagination. Definitely not. Guardian picking up Aush, and, well, they, once again, Na'Vi find themselves in a position where allowing, like, according to stats, they should win this. It's a 5v2, 5v3. Of course, they have two pistols on Edward and Flamey, but, yeah, make that a 5v2 due to a triple kill from Guardian. So they should win this one, but we saw last time around, despite there only being two players alive on the tier side, they still managed to get the round. Now it's all on Dominate. Got a 4k last round, has to ace it 1v5 to keep his team in this, and this might be a bit too much to ask of him. So dominate in middle, sees one, takes him out. There's a second one up in CT middle, but dominate's still gonna stay alive here. 35 seconds to go. And he's gonna get shot down. So there it is, 16 to 13. It's gonna be the result here on DE Cobblestone. Navi take the first map win in this best of two. We're gonna have the second map coming up. And um, let, let's see here, I actually, forgot what the map is. Let me just update it real quick. Rush. Oh, yeah. So, it's going to be, of course, the Mirage coming up later. That's going to be in just a little bit of time. Public here versus Navi. Navi fighting for that fourth place. It's going to be coming right up here on Place Evo on MLG TV with myself, Risk, and Metis. We're going to take a short break, and then we're going to be back with the next map.